there is a sandwich that I really like, it's a fried chicken sandwich. <laughs> Although I like the mortadella one, but it's okay. Who hasn't been to a fast food restaurant and instead of ordering classic cheeseburger, ends up ordering a fried chicken sandwich? But they are always not so good. Sometimes the bread is not the best, mm. maybe the chicken is not that juicy, or there's something missing, or maybe it's all together. That's why today I'm going to make the whole sandwich. We're going to bake the bread that I think goes best with this sandwich, known as Kaiser Roll. We're going to marinate and deep fry the chicken. And then we're going to make a delicious tartar sauce to take it to the next level. So let's get started and may the gluten be with us. The bun that I could use for this sandwich could be perfectly any burger bun. But today I'm going to give it a twist. For the rolls we need bread flour, sugar, instant yeast or fresh yeast, salt, egg whites, milk and water. In the mixer bowl we add the bread flour, the sugar, the yeast, salt and the egg whites. Now we put it in the mixer and we turn it on. And slowly we add the water and the milk. And now that we see some gluten development, we add the butter. What we're looking for is for a perfect gluten development. So we let the machine work for us and this is what we were looking for. That's the gluten network. So now that the dough is ready, we put it here in this container, cover it, and we wait till it doubles in size. And here's the dough already risen. I don't know if it's two times, or maybe five times, so let's shape those rolls. And now we divide the dough. We should do it in pieces of 100 grams. And that's the last one. We'll preshape them into balls now. Now that we have all the balls shaped, we'll let them rest for five minutes. Now, and now we grab one and we start stretching it like a baguette, but longer. Now we do a little turn and magic. This is my shape. Then you can try at home your own Kaiser roll shape. Okay, let's do another one. Let's stretch it like a long baguette. And now we shape it into this Kaiser roll. It's easy. Perfect. Let's put it on the tray. And now we need to make the egg wash, which is really easy. We just use one part of egg and one part of milk. We mix them all together and that's all. Time to brush the rolls. And now let it rain. Okay, now we let it rise and then we bake them. And now we bake them for 20 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Mm, I got tempted. Mm, it's so good. It's chewy, it's moist. And it's so fluffy, wow. This sandwich is going to be incredible. Good, now that we have the rolls baked, it's time to move to the next ingredient, the fried chicken. Here I have two chicken meat options. On one side I have the breast filet, and on the other side I have some chicken thighs. And the idea is to see which one is the perfect for this sandwich. Now I'm going to marinate the chicken with salt, black pepper, and roasted garlic. And here, totally out of script, I have some shiitake mushrooms that I'm going to grind too to give the chicken some more umami flavor. And now I'll take them one hour to the fridge. Are you lost with all the sourdough bread recipes that you find on the internet? Would you like to learn all the tips and tricks 
to make your own sourdough bread at home, then I have the solution. I have designed the perfect masterclass of sourdough bread just made for you. By clicking the link on the description, you will learn how to make and take care of your sourdough starter, how to knead, shape, ferment and bake your sourdough bread, how to use and read the baker's percentage, all the basic techniques to bake like a pro at home, and how to read and understand your dough. Don't miss out on it and click the link on the description right now. In this bowl, I have all-purpose flour. Now I add some cornstarch. And here come the spices. First, salt, then ground pepper, roasted garlic, paprika, some chili flakes to make it even more spicy, and totally optional, I brought the sumac from Turkey. Now we mix all gently. And in this bowl, I'm going to put the eggs with some water. And now we add a few spoons of this spiced flour. Mix it all together, and we are ready. Let's start breading the chicken. First, I pick the filet, and I'll dip it in this spice egg. And now we put it in the flour. The idea is to coat it completely. And now we leave it on the rack. Let's go with the tie. Again, into the eggs. And now into the flour. If you get some chunks stuck in the chicken, it's okay. That's going to be even more crunchier. Okay, let's put it on the rack. We're done. In a cast iron, we're going to heat some oil. And now we deep fry the chicken for around seven minutes or until it's golden brown. Time to try them and see which one is the best for today's sandwich. Mm. The breast was really juicy. That's key when we're talking about fried chicken. And all those spices on the crispy coating, wow. But I need to try the Thai. Ooh. Wow, this is amazing. But I need a second opinion. Wait a second. Okay, Sophie, I need your opinion. What about the breast? Mm? And I want you to try the tie. So, what's your favorite? Oh, oh. so I think that we have a winner, and the winner is the tie. <laughs> mm. And now that the chicken is already fried, let's do the third ingredient, a tartar sauce. In the mixing cup, we add one part of milk, and now two parts of oil. It could be corn, sunflower, or canola oil. Now one garlic clove, a little bit of salt, a pinch of paprika, and we start mixing. First, let's keep it at the bottom. And as soon as it starts to emulsify, we can go up. Take a look at this texture, perfect. Now we add some lemon juice and diced pickles. Mix all together. And this is the tartar sauce. And now that we have the sauce, let's do that sandwich. Now we slice and open one roll and with some melted butter, we toast it on the griddle. Nice golden color. On the toasted bun, we put the fried chicken. And now on the top bun, we spread a lot of tartar sauce. 
Now some more pickles. And let's crown it. Wow, I can't believe it. Perfect combination. Sophie, you were right. Thai is much better than breast. I always thought that breast was going to be better than Thai, but no. Thai was made for fried chicken. And the tartar sauce, the pickles, and the Kaiser roll are perfect. It's super light, chewy, tasty. Well, incredible. So please, as soon as you stop watching this video, start making this sandwich at home. You have seen other recipes. So please like this video, share it, and I'll see you on the next one. Gluten Morgan, everyone. I hope you have enjoyed this video and if you want to learn more about sourdough bread and sourdough starter I encourage you to check the link on the description and remember this masterclass was specially designed for you